Hey, everyone, welcome back. And in this class, we are going to talk about the uh, Terraform workspace. Okay, so imagine uh, you are uh, maintaining a project. So in that, in each and every project, there will be some different environments. So suppose you have an environment of dev, staging, and the production environment. So you are doing some uh, changes in the dev environment. Suppose you are creating a VPC, creating EC2, or even S3 bucket. Any resource you are creating. Okay, so what will happen? Uh, by default or not by default by mistake what you do you uh, do the changes into the production environment okay but uh, that you are not supposed to do actually so in this case what will happen whatever your application will be there that will be break okay or some error or some issue will be coming up so that's the terraform workspace comes in a picture okay so i'll just let you know what is the terraform workspace so a terraform workspace uh, is just like a separate state file okay so we have a different state file so separate state file within same configuration okay so what does it mean basically so by default uh, terraform creates a workspace for you that is a default one okay so whenever we, uh, whatever we have done till now the all thing we have done into the default workspace but we can create our own workspaces like we can create our dev or we can create the staging and we can create the production three workspaces we can create and this way the same code can be applied to different environments with different resource name size or settings okay so what will be happening just for example suppose uh, we want to create a vpc okay and the same VPC you want to create into the dev also, staging also, production also. Okay. So in this way, we can use the same code, whatever you have written, and we can change the uh, your workspace and we can apply the command. Okay. So just uh, I will show you the uh, help you with the what is the workspace command. So basically, the TF I'm writing as the uh, Terraform and the WS for workspace. So basically it will be terraform workspace and then we have a list command we have a show command and then we have a like a terraform workspace suppose you have to select any workspace so you can select dev suppose you want to delete so you can just do delete and dev. okay we will talk about this so okay in the practical side so now moving on to the hands-on so first of all i will show you a bit of code snippet so basically uh, that is the basic one so we'll be creating a bucket itself okay into the different workspace environment so i will show you just open up your terminal okay let me enter my password <laughs> okay so we have a vs code here and what i'll be doing uh i need my terminal where can i get it devices where that menu went okay let us find out that menu okay here i can just go to the new terminal okay so what i'll be doing so we are at to this part of a basic so here i will create a directly tf workspace okay just move into this directory okay and uh, whatever command i told you that is the terraform workspace list okay so by default you can see there is a default workspace okay so what i'll be doing i'll be simply creating a main.tf file here okay and uh, what we are going to do i'm just going to copy this code snippet okay and i'm in the reason ap south one let me just paste it so this code will nothing to it will just create a simply s3 bucket into the us east one region you can see okay let me just save it and i will just quickly show you as there will be a no bucket okay so this is our s3 site okay and there is no buckets actually for now and uh, let me just go into the us east one yeah here yeah. 
so in this region there should be no any bucket available yeah there is no bucket okay so what we are going to do now so i will just creating a terraform init i will just type that will initialize the terraform okay then we have a different commands to create a new workspace okay it will take a few seconds of time till then i will just pause the video okay initialization is done so what we have to do now we have to create a new uh, workspace so i showed you workspace before was only default so i will be creating workspace new dev okay the new workspace has been created and then here you can see uh, some changes happen in terraform providers and the environments okay and in tf state you can see the dev now okay again i will be creating a, a different one so i'll be creating a staging okay and then i'll be creating a prod so you can see whenever i'm creating a new workspace so we are just creating and switching to that workspace okay so you can see here you are now on a new empty workspace and i i workspace isolate this state so if you run terraform plan terraform will not say any existing state for this configuration right so just clear the screen and now i will show you the terraform workspace list sorry list so here you can see uh, we have default dev prod staging okay so i will just uh, switch back to the terraform uh, we have to uh, select any particular uh, workspace so what what is the command for the terraform workspace select default suppose i want to go on the default one okay or i want to go into the dev one first okay Cool. So we are on the dev environment. So what I'm going to do terraform plan. So let's plan. Let's see what will happen. Okay. So we will create a bucket. So now you can see into the terraform dot t. So here you can see the dev. Now in dev nothing is there. In prod nothing is there. In staging nothing is there. Right. So now let's apply. Okay. So this will create a bucket for us and this is the environment variable I'm using for the bucket that is the terraform dot workspace. So it will simply uh, print the workspace right. So just give a value as a yes. So in this case the bucket will be created as the Ayush dash tail dash whatever number is there. Okay. So bucket is created. So from workspace show okay so this command will show which uh, we have which workspace so dev so now if i see and this refresh the bucket page so i should be able to see a bucket there and i'm not able to see why so let me just click here general purpose and yeah uh, yeah actually here you can see i should do 7846 okay so now we have created a bucket for the dev environment now now i want to create a bucket for my uh, staging environment so i will simply say workspace select staging now here also i'm going to just plan and if you see here for the dev you have now a separate state file now for the staging you will have a separate state file so if you do apply now so you will end up by seeing the uh, separate bucket bucket for the staging environment okay okay so if i go back now on my VS Core and just rephrase it. 
so you will see one more bucket there okay so staging you can see in the similar way you we can create for the prod and that's your task to create for the prod okay so now uh what's next so the next thing is we will be simply deleting or cleaning up so just to terraform destroy i don't want my bucket to be there destroy okay and to delete a workspace so we have a command terraform workspace delete and the workspace name so in this way you can so here you have to just type yes good so now what uh, uh, if uh, you are on the same workspace like terraform workspace so so workspace okay what happened yeah so staging so i can't delete from the same uh, workspace the same uh, workspace which i'm using like staging i can't delete from this staging so uh, i need to switch back to some different so if i switch back to the terraform workspace select dev okay so now i am on the dev so i want to just delete the staging so we are doing delete staging so in this way you can just delete your workspace so i want to delete the prod also and then i want to switch back to the default <clears throat> sorry uh, i'll be selecting dev okay already i'm on dev so first i will destroy terraform destroy so our bucket will get uh, deleted and then i will switch back to the default and uh, will delete this workspace okay so if you don't want to enter this here so you can use like hyphen auto approve it will work and now i want to switch back to default select default okay let's delete the uh, dev let's try iphone auto approve okay now it's not working <clears throat> okay so dev is also deleted if i just do list workspace list so now i will end up having a simple default workspace okay so yeah that's uh, we have so that's it for this video and i will see you in the next one i hope you got it if you have any questions please ask us in the comment section so thank you so much for watching and i will meet you in the next one thank you